Hi, this is Aisha with San Mateo Public Library. And today I'm going to show you how to get to our Tumble Books ebook service um, website, um, which you can reach either through the library website or if you're already on the library's catalog, you can get to it from there as well. And so from um, our website page, you just go up here to this blue bar at the top, hover over the kids and teens. This is the easiest way to find it here. And then in the drop menu, you go over to youth services um, and click on the link. And here are all the youth uh, resources, rather. Here are all the youth resources that we have um, with databases and educational sites where you can um, look up information articles. Um, there are some books on, on here as well that you can access all for free with your library card. And I will scroll down to the bottom and here's the link to the Tumble Book Library from the library's website main page. And you'll see over here to the side is this little button that um, it says PLS. So that means that that tells you that you can, if you, you can, if you don't have to necessarily live in San Mateo and have a San Mateo Public Library card to use this resource. Um, and so if, if you're using any of our databases, um, they'll all have these little uh, buttons as a guide next to the, the link to show you what type of library card you might need to use to access the service. And so to get to the same point from the library catalog, I'll click here. Here's the main page of the catalog. Uh, just go here in this green menu bar to get it online. And we're going to click ebooks. And so this has all of the ebooks uh, and uh, media services that we have on, on one page. So we just need to scroll down to search for ebooks for children. And here we have, again, the Tumble Book Library. So I'll click through from that page to get to the Tumble Books main page. And as you can see, okay, yes, I will accept the cookies. And as you can see, Tumble Books is full of picture books. Um, these are all separated into cat, um, neatly into categories on the main page. Um, there's quick reads. Um, there's here's a specific publisher that's all grouped together. Um, there are read-alongs that are available for younger kids and older kids who are already reading chapter books. Uh, Tumble Tunes, there's music, there's music here. And um, Tumble Books also has short videos and let me scroll back up to the top. So here is, um, these colorful tabs are another, uh, are the menu for the site. So there are storybooks, there's read-alongs, there's nonfiction, there are short videos uh, that are pretty cool. Uh, there's a few language learning um, books and programs. Uh, you can create playlists of your own. So if you want to keep a collection of books that you want to play or to read all, you know, during one setting, you can do that. And there are also puzzles and games for kids to play. Uh, and I'll show you first, let's, see, let's click on storybooks. And so let me pick a book to read. There was one, Okay, let's pick one about school. Boomer goes to school. <laughs> so when you click on the, the, the picture of the book, the, the cover of the book, you get the details page and it gives you a little blurb of, or a summary of the story. And it gives you all over here to the right, there are details about uh, the author, the publisher, there's the reading level details. So, 
if you need to, or if you're looking for a book with a specific reading level, uh, this makes it easier to find. Uh, and it tells you how, about how long it takes for, to read through the book. And this one is in video format. So um, when we play it, you'll be able to see that um, it's sort of a read along that there's a, an actual, there's audio of it as well. And you can control the, uh, as you go along and the kid can, kids can read the print along with the narrator reading the story. And also, if you want to add it to your favorites list, you can just click here where the, this star is to add to your favorites. And, and then you can go back to your favorites page to, um, to click on it to get to it if you don't want to search through the main page or do or type in a search for it later on. And also, you can add it to your playlist. So I'll click play the video and it opens in a new window. Up. Boomer was just settling down after his morning walk when suddenly someone called his name. Then Boomer saw his leash. Boomer was very excited. He thought he was going for another walk. Okay, I'll stop there. And as you can see, as the narrator reads the story, the words that she's reading are highlighted so that it makes it easier for kids to follow along. Um, if their younger kids might be focused on the picture, but as they get more into reading and their reading skills improve, they'll be drawn to the words and they can follow along very easily um, through, um, through the story as the words are highlighted. So I'll close this book. And I want to show you now, let's go to nonfiction. So here's a nonfiction collection. And again, there's, um, th they're neatly organized into different browsable categories. There's science, biography, insects. Here's one of my favorite insect books. <laughs> uh, seasons and videos. Let's see what they have in the videos. There are National Geographic videos, there's history, space and technology, biology, geography, earth science, social studies, and so on. And we'll pick a National Geographic's video for baby elephants. I love elephants. So again, on the details page, it shows you approximately how long the video is, um, the publisher information and a little blurb about what the video uh, content is. And you can also add to your favorites or add to a playlist and let's play the video. It opens in a um, smaller window, but we can- Oh baby elephant, you're such a hoot. You're so darn wrinkly, so darn cute. Whether clowning with your bestest bud, are trying to climb out of the mud. So I'll pause that. So that's an example of one of the videos that is available on Tumble Books. And also, I'll show you the puzzles and games. We'll look at that. So there's there are memory games. I tried to play one of these and it was it was a little challenging for me, but I think kids would have a really fun time with them. Um, I think I tried it before to play this little memory game. And this is ABC Letters in the Library. And uh, to open the game, you just click Read Online. And so this game is just like the memory game you would play with a deck of cards, is that you click on a tile and you click on another tile and it shows you what's behind the, the gray square. And then, you have to remember to, to you, can, you have to be able to match to <laughs> this is hard it takes a lot of focus and attention but basically um you know how the memory game goes you have to find two matching letters before you can progress to the next step oh i found one 
and then uh, go, you continue until you um, reveal all of the letters in this whole set. So that's an example of one of the games that is available on Tumble Books. And I'll close this tab now to go back to the main site. And Tumble Books also has books uh, in Spanish and French. And let's see, there is a search bar. So if you want to do a search, you can do that if you don't want to just browse through the titles. And here's a how-to page. So here's a, a page to get if you need help on how to navigate the site and how and more details on how to get started. Um, just click on how to tumble. So there's a user's guide, which is here. Um, and it's you can scroll down for more information. And there are how-to videos, so they can show you how to do specific things. And then there's an FAQs page as well. So the how-to videos, oh, it's coming soon. So for now, you can watch this video for a basic how-to. And you can click on the user's guide for more information. And um, that's pretty much the Tumble Books uh, ebook library for kids. It's very resourceful and it's, we recommend it for teachers, um, uh, elementary school teachers and preschool teachers, as well as homeschoolers and for just kids and families who are looking for something extra to read. If you've run out of print books and you haven't refreshed your supply, or if you have, want a fun game, <clears throat> excuse me, a fun game to play um, that's short and sweet, or if you want to create a playlist of your own and um, create a timed playlist for a specific purpose or a project, then you can do that too. It has a lot of capabilities and functionalities. And there are a lot of very um, good stories and books here. And I also want to point out again that there are books here for older kids as well. So there are chapter books included in the collection. So they're most, while they're mostly read-alongs and picture books, the chapter books for older kids also have a read-along, have an audio function. So kids can click through and read on their own independently if they want to, but they can also click on an audio option that will have a narrator reading as they go along through the print. So that's pretty much, that's a basic, demonstration of Tumble Books Library. And if you have more information, please contact the children's department at the library.